Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall this bumper on this 2007 Mini Cooper S. If there's any parts you need for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. I'm going to use the trim tool, I'm going to take these four clips off on top of the grill. Just pry up on the center part and then the rest will come out. Pull those out and pull the grill out a little bit. There's a little tab in here. I'm going to push down on this with a screwdriver. I need to like push it in a little bit. Let's see. Just like that. Then in the center is the same thing. There's a long screwdriver. Just push in on the tab. Oops. Just like that. And then on the end, it comes out. These tabs just have to be pushed in and the grill slides right out. We're gonna raise our vehicle up so we can access underneath a little bit easier. You can do this on the ground. It'll be easier if you raise the front of the vehicle up a little bit. We're going to remove these torque screws. There's one on each side. This one right here and one over here. I'll use a T25 socket extension and a ratchet. Pull those out. Next I'm going to take these three retainer clips out. I'll use a trim tool. Pull the center part of it out first to release it. And pull the rest of the clip out. Do the same for the other three. I'm gonna remove some of these clips right here. I'm gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver. I can unscrew the center portion. If I go in there gently, unscrew it. And then I can pull the push clip out. Do the same for this one. Sometimes they get a little corroded. Just, just hold the clip. And I can pull it right out, just like that. I can pull this inner fender well out a little bit. Actually, I can pull this little cover off. That'll give me a little more room. Here. Pull that out of the way. There's a connector right here that needs to be disconnected. Just push on the tab. There's a little lock. Just push down on the lock. Try to wiggle the connector out. There we go. So I used a pick just to disconnect this connector. Uh, this thing was on there pretty good. Just pushing down on the lock tab wasn't doing it. I just went in underneath here. Um, Release the lock, disconnected that. Yeah. Take my trim tool and remove this clip. Right here, pull that out. Clip 
There's a clip right here. Pry on the back of this. I'm gonna use my 90 degree pick to get this started. Pry that out a little bit. And I'll use the trim tool. Clip out. I'm gonna unplug this connector right here. Push down on the lock. Pull the connector out. I'm gonna grab this part of the. We're gonna grab this part of the fender flare and pull it out, just like that. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. I'm just gonna use a T25. I'm gonna take this Torx screw out. Now this side of the bumper is loose, and I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Disconnect these bulbs. I'm gonna squeeze these two locks. Disconnect the fog light bulb. And to disconnect this other marker bulb, just push down on the lock and pull out the connector. Now that the sides are loose, we're gonna take these two Torx bolts out. Use my T25 extension and a ratchet. Pull that out. And pull this one out. And I can just grab the bumper. Pull it forward a little bit. There's these two retainers holding this hose going across the front. I'm just gonna use some needle nose pliers, squeeze these, release these. And I'll grab the front of the bumper and pull it off. All right, now we're gonna reinstall the bumper. Just slide this over here. Make sure that goes under there. I'll go like that. Same with this side. It goes in position like that. We can put these two Torx bolts back in right there. We're gonna slide this trim out of the way a little bit and then we'll take this T25 Torx screw Line that up, get that started, and then we'll take the ratchet and tighten it down. Snug that up. And on the front, there's these two clips. Those are gonna slide into those slots. Push those in. This push pin. This is going to go in here. Like that, push it down, lock it in place. There's another push pin that goes right here. Push that down and lock it in place. We're going to connect all these connectors. This connector is going to go to the side marker, line it up, lock it in. Just like that. And there's this connector is going to go to this driving light or parking light. Lock that in there. It's going to the fog light. Line this up, lock it in place. One more. This goes to the ambient air temp sensor harness. Just plug that in right there. 
all those are connected. Can push this panel back in. Put this cover back on. Just line the slots up. Lock it in. Take these push pins. Sometimes these push pins are kind of hard to put in. You gotta like fold all these down. And then once that's in, push down, lock it in place, or you could screw it down. Same with this one. Get that in position and push it down. And then we'll do the same procedure for the driver's side. Underneath the vehicle, we'll put these push pins back in. I got new push pins for these. Lock those in place. We're gonna install these torque screws on the two sides. The T25 extension and ratchet. Snug it up. Now we're going to reinstall the grill. We want to align these push clips up at the bottom. There's slots in the bottom that they go into. Lock those in place. They generally go in pretty easily. Then we have push pins. We're going to install those four push pins right here. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.